Okay, I'm pretty excited about this, and yes, I got it from the Horrible Bezos site. I do normally support um, smaller independent bookshops and uh, comic shops, but I was eager to get this, and Amazon had it very, very good price. So I did an overview of its sister book earlier on a few weeks ago. This is my one of my most cherished series in one of my favourite comics. So without further ado, let's show you what I got. So this is Nemesis the Warlock, the definitive edition, volume two. So we've got the writer from last time, Pat Mills, Kevin O'Neill, but also Brian Talbot. So I think you could safely say this along with maybe Luther Arkwright, who Brian Talbot did the artwork for as well and wrote, could possibly be the first time there's been a steampunk element in comic strips. Now we've got a wonderful Kevin O'Neill cover. That nice gigantic size as the previous one. Nice interior page. So, so as you can see, Kevin O'Neill goodness there. But I want to move on and show you how it cha changed radically with the arrival of Brian Talbot. Art style completely different but still just as beautiful. So Kevin O'Neill's on for a chunk of it but this is now book four and this is where the art changes dramatically and I like how Pat Mills changed the tone of the story to fit his artist so this becomes a very much like alternative Victoriana steampunky kind of world a bit like a Tim Powers kind of novel if you're a bit of a sci-fi novel head like I am the artwork is absolutely gorgeous I love Kevin O'Neill but I love this equally as well they're both as dynamic but in completely different ways so, <laughs> I shall be reading this soon after I finish reading my weekly comics. What I like about this as well, it brings into the world of Nemesis the ABC Warriors as well. But it's just so dynamic. So you have the ABC Warriors there. Comics do not get much better than this. Have a look at this colour page. So again, they've got the front covers or any any anything from the comic which features Nemesis related material. Nice pin up of Secret Agent of um, Pusey Brown. And so really cool nemesis there and there's some more Kevin O'Neill just to round it out this was the covers from the Eagle American comic what came out and there you go so nice oversized book again uh, there's a volume three coming out i think next early next year i don't know if they're going to go any further than that hopefully i don't know how i can't remember how many books there was in there i think it was about eight books so we'll wait and see but so this covers the four the third and the fourth book beautiful beautiful book so pleased they've got it do yourself a favor you're missing out on one of the best stories in comics period go back get the first book you can normally get it for quite a reasonable price and then get the brand new one as well otherwise you will be missing out on one of the most fantastic stories you can read in comics another gem from 2000 AD okay bye